Hi boys and girls, in today's video what we're going to be looking at is number lines and we're going to be looking at number lines with tens and ones, okay? And we're going to have a look what that means for us. Now, firstly, to get our head right up, we need to make sure we can have a number line with tens. So you can see I've got a number line here and it starts at zero and it ends in a hundred, okay? And I can see when I look at this, it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way to 100. And we can see each jump is going up 10. We're adding on 10 each time we go up. So from 0 to 10, and then from 10 to 20, and then all the way up, all of our jumps are all 10. Okay, and that makes it easy for us to go all the way along. And if you had a number line like that, it would be easy as well to guess which numbers are missing. If I rubbed out that number, I'm going to rub my jumps off. And I rubbed out, let's see, blah, 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 that number there. All right. So now I have a number line with some missing numbers. And because it's in 10s, it's easy for us to work out which one's missing. When we count in tens, we've got a pattern, haven't we? Okay, look, if we look at our ones, it goes zero. If we look at our tens, one ten, two ten, four ten, five tens, six tens, we don't know, eight tens, nine tens, ten tens. So if we can count from one to ten, we can do our number line to ten to 100, sorry, in tens, because we're just going one, two, three, but instead of being one, one, two ones, three ones, it's one ten, two tens, three tens. But we know three tens is the same, sorry, four tens is the same as 40, and eight tens is the same as 80, which is eight in our tens and no ones. So if we saw these, it would be easy for us to say, well, we, let's have a look. We could go 10, 20, so the next number is going to be three tens, 30, and our next number here, 40, 50, 60, or if I count how many tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens, yeah. And seven tens is 70. So we know how to count them tens. Now let's have a look. These two number lines look the same because they are. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten intervals, ten gaps that we are going up in. So these number lines at the minute are very similar. However, watch what happens here. I'm going to put on um, my numbers. Now look at those numbers. What's the same? What's different? Well, let's have a look. We know we've got 10 jumps. Let's see if it goes up in 10 each time. Okay, 20, 21. Mm. I haven't added 10 on there. How many have I added on that jump? I've added one. Let's check to see the next jump. 21, 22. I've added another one. 23, I've added another one. So this one's actually going up in ones. Where this one's going up in tens every time, this one is going up in ones so we can use the same number line with 10 gaps to show different things now let's have a look on this one our tens column was going up one two three four five six going up one every time this time our tens column let's look two tens two tens two tens two tens two tens we stayed in the 20s all the way up until we get to 30 but let's have a look at our ones column Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then another zero at the end where we would normally have ten. So with this one, last time we were counting the tens, because it goes up in tens, this time it goes up in ones, which means our ones column goes up one each time, which makes it nice and easy for us, because again, if we can count the ten, we can do it. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25. And what that means is, if we had a number line, um, let's see, let's start with the number, uh, let's start with 40 this time. And I added my numbers in. Hopefully that one out. 
Mr. Uh, B thinking about the wrong thing. <laughs> 50. And let's have a look there now. If I had that question and I had a guess there was every numbers, I can do it. I can remember. If I can count my 40s, brilliant, it'll be super easy. But I know my ones are going to go up one each time. So I start at 40, 41, 42. What do you think will be next? Said 43, well done. Look, my 10 stays the same, it goes up. Look at that number there, three, same. I had a three tens there. 44, 45, 46. Guess that one. Well, I'm gonna do it another way. Look, I'm gonna go backwards because we can count backwards as well if you're good at it. 49, 48. Yes, if you said 47, and look, my ones are the same as what the tens was there. So I can get work out my numbers from there. What we always have to remember is once we get to the 49, okay, our ones is going to turn to a zero and our tens will go up by one because we're going up to the next set of tens. Like if we're at nine, we go to 10, 19, we go to 20, and we need to remember that through. Now, not always are we going to start with a number on this end that is a zero, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Do, 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 let me rub out. So, as long as we know what our number line is going up and not, we can work out what we are doing. So, I might have, now we'll start in our 40s again. Now this time, I have three numbers missing. And we look here, I haven't started with a zero, I've started with 46. But what I'm gonna do is work out if it goes up in ones. 46 to 47, yes, goes up in a one. 47 to 48, yes, it goes a one. And we don't always have the first number, but we can always check, because I could check further up, right? So 51, 52, how many does that go up? It goes up one, so it is one every time. Now I can use that to work out my answers. 46, 47, 48, 49. Yes, it's 15. If we need to work that out, we're at 49. So that means I need a zero and my tens is going to go up by one. Then I got 51, 52. Oh, knocking something or not my ruler over. 52. Yeah, we got 53 next. 54. 55, my last number, 56, well done. So I can see, look, my ones, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I can count to 10, I can do it. Now, what we can do as well, something that's really hard from this, we can do something called estimation. Okay, now I'm not gonna go into it completely on this video. That's one for another one. But estimation is when we have a logical guess. Okay. Now we know how number lines work. Okay. If I had a number line here and I had no more numbers there. Say we've got, and I've taken away my little numbers in the middle. And I'm going to do a clean those ones on. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how you can estimate. Now, I would make sure, there's the ruler falling over. I would make sure that you know how to do, read those number lines like I just said first. And once you've done that, have a go at this really, really hard technique. Sorry, my board needs a proper clean. So, let's see. Oh. Need to wake up today, don't I, Mr. V? Right, okay, so let's look at this top, uh, at the top here. If someone said to you, where's number 25 on the number line? I would look at that and I'd go, oh, there isn't 25 on the number line, it goes up in tens. But I can estimate, I can have an estimation, it's a bit like a guess where it might be. Well, I know 25 is in the middle of 20 and 30, so 25 would probably be about there. If someone said to me, Mr. B, where's 99? I'd go, ooh, it's not on there. But I do know 99 is only one away from 100, so we'll probably be all the way there. I've had a good guess. I've used what I know to have a guess. 
With this one here, we can see we go from 30 to 40, so we're going up by 10. So if someone said to me, Mr. B, where's 31? Oh, it's not on my scale, but 31's very close to 30, so we'll probably be there. And if someone said, where's 35? It's going to be in the middle. I'm using what I know about numbers to make estimations on my number line. That is really hard, so if you're doing well at that, well done. I hope that video helped with you. And if you do need any more help, it's always out there for you. Please like, share and subscribe if you helped the video. And until the next video, see you later.